Welcome back to The Sauce. Before the break, we asked you, what is your favorite Evanescence video? And 53% of you said, my immortal. Hmm. And speaking of Evanescence, Steven is sitting with Amy right now. Oh, Steven. Oh, yes, Jared. <laughs> now, you just announced my immortal, and Amy went, what? No. <laughs> I was sitting there going, OK, Pete Tiger would be cool. Summer would be cool, too. Yeah. Just don't pick my immortal. <laughs> and that's what they picked. Well, no, it's a good video. It's good. You yeah. did very well on it. Now, I want to say first, congratulations. You just got married. Thank you. How is married life? <laughs> Applaud matrimony. <laughs> it's a good thing. Um, it's great. It's really good. Um, Josh has been able to come out with me a lot of the time. Oh, that's great. We've been out of the country a whole bunch, so we got to go to Europe for the first time, went to Japan, and played in the arcades, and... Oh, yes. It was very cool. So, um, yeah, we're having a good time. You have been touring like crazy. That's very yes. cool you got to come out. Yes. When, are you going to get a break anytime soon? Yeah, well, this is sort of a break. We're going back on tour pretty soon, but we've been off for like three weeks. Oh, that is That's a, a big break. That's huge for bands. That's gigantic. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, after this last headlining tour then we're off indefinitely just working on new stuff and no more touring for the open door nothing so. nothing nothing now uh as you're touring do you work on new songs do you write a little on tour it's kind of hard because i usually write at the piano mm -hmm. and also like by myself and those are two things are pretty hard to have on the bus <laughs> piano is kind of huge and yeah. um you're never alone when you're on the bus no, so no, no, yeah no. so I, I i get little ideas here and there and um record them in my little whatever it is, a mini micro cassette. Oh, you know? nice. Um, but other than that, I just wait till I get home. I've written a little bit in the past couple of weeks, but just, just for fun, I don't know. So do you like going in and starting a record just com completely cold and building from the ground up? I like just like not making a plan. Like okay. I, once we're off, I'll be like, sweet, and do stuff, go shopping, make dinner. And then once in a while, I'll be like, oh, I have a great idea, and then go write a song. Rather than try to tell myself like, I have to have three songs by the end of October, because then you're just gonna crap, so. Then it's like a science project, nobody yeah. Sits in the back here. One of those horrible, smelly volcanoes. Yeah. No, you don't want that. No, yeah. not even the Brady Munch. Um, <laughs> now, when, whenever you write new songs and you're working on a new record, if you do, you do any like one-off performances and try and like sneak new songs in for fans. Um. No. no. I'm trying to think if I've ever. I mean, we've played stuff live that hasn't been released before, hmm. but it's been a while. I don't know. Now it's all been released. I mean, I've, got, I've still got some in the bank, but okay. I don't know. I always want to save them. I think they're good for something, and I always want to save the surprise. But we're definitely planning a few um, surprises for the last. Is, is is it hard to let go of a song and say it's finished? Yes, definitely. Okay. <laughs> it, it is. It is. Um, I remember when we were. Wow, like doing our first demos when I was in high school and mm -hmm. we'd, this is what we did, we'd record over and over and over, we had like a crappy little 16 tracker, it was an 8 track actually, recorder, Okay. Um, and just like digitally record stuff, very high tech for, you know, uh, yeah. kids, and record it over and over and over and change the formula, like a song like Bring Me to Life, I think there was like at least 10 versions of, oh, wow. um, over the course of time, and eventually it became what it was, so I, I am always like, I never want to be too married to it. <laughs> but being married now is a wonderful thing. Yes, yes. Uh, Bring it all back the, around. Now, the video for, for Good Enough, is it true people actually caught on fire? Yeah. Yeah, that is actually true. <laughs> um, was that I intentional? I went running out of the building screaming. Um, okay. It was really, really fun, though. Fire. I mean, it, was definitely, it was definitely entertaining. I watched that clip back. I think you could find it on YouTube. Um, we actually did it in... <laughs> this is funny. We did it in Hungary because... Labor's cheap, honestly. I mean, who are we kidding? Yeah. And so basically, <laughs> it's okay to burn the Hungarians. Yeah, no, no, no. Like instead of having to burn down a real house, like that was really you know there already, we could build our own set okay. and burn the whole thing in the end. So the house, the the thing that I'm in when we're in the whole video, um, is actually inside another building. Okay. So the thing's supposed to set on fire, and it does. It's real fire that you're looking at. Okay, good. Um, I'm no. not really on fire. That's not. I mean, that fire happened, and then I sat there but a lot of it's real all around me. Anyway, so um, yeah, when they torch the whole thing, they pour this fire goo everywhere and we're like, right. more and more, it's just like not fiery enough and the fire guys are like spreading this like glop everywhere and they just went nuts with it, they went, ah, oh, forget it. I saw the guy going like this with the thing um, because the first time it didn't happen very well and then he was like, okay, go, and they start recording. We're just sitting there like nonchalantly not expecting it to really happen. Everyone had already gone home and I'd stayed. And they light it, and silly thing, the fire guys that are lighting it were in the back of the room instead of the front with the easiest ah, exit point. You professionals. Know. Yeah. yeah. So the guy, you see the guy in the back, um, like about to light it, and then it goes, <laughs> like the whole like floor just goes like instant. It's crazy ah. how fast. And it just goes boom, and it was so loud, and the whole entire thing 
torch and you see the guy's jumping out of frame and the guy's leg was on fire. But um, it was instantly put out. He was fine. And they all for the on. sake of art. I screamed, ran out of the building. Everyone was laughing at me. The director's Aww. like, what? Come on. It's just fake fire. <laughs> no, it was real. All right. So uh, when you torch the piano in our studio today, just let the audience know so we okay. step back a bit. Everybody stay in the back of the room. Stand back yes. with Amy. Now, Amy's going to perform one more time later in the show. But right now, we're going to send it over to Holly and yet another group of fun guys. Thank you, Stephen. I'm here with Dustin Tepe.